episode one get woo, zero woo, five. I ain't playing around. Make one false mm-hmm. move, I'll take you down. down. Get back, uh, motherfucker. Uh, you don't know me like uh, that. Okay. Uh. That's a song I'm working on. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good, man. That's Thanks. pretty good. That's a nice original by me. I was actually thinking about like. I wonder if I could just like blow up if I decided to become like a SoundCloud, SoundCloud, Jesus Christ, SoundCloud rapper. Keep going, keep going. You're doing well. Okay, thank you. You're you're helping me. Like a SoundCloud <laughs> rapper, but I get like the face tats. But it's I'm like Lil Gamer, mm-hmm. and it's Gamer like G4M3R, and I get like a Sims diamond tattooed on my forehead, and I get my arm like a keyboard, and I get like <laughs> Xbox buttons on my cheeks and shit. Like, I wonder if I could like blow up if I became that sound and just start a beef with everyone. <laughs> You probably would, but like it would be like I'd ruin myself, but I'd, maybe I'd make millions, May, maybe thousands. You know what they say about medieval times? What, what? What do they say about medieval times? Those are some medieval times. They were a little evil. I felt very bad for the horses. They tra- they, they were doing crazy tricks. I was like, how do you train a horse to do that kind of stuff? Did they run the horses on like a track? No. Did the horses Winnie and Nene? They brought the horses out and made them like jump in the air and like spin around and uh. Did they walk on their hind legs? One of them like stood up on his hind legs and then jumped. Ooh. And I was like, damn, they're beautiful beasts. I uh. Apparently they're assholes though. Horses? Yeah. Yeah. Well, if they're that beautiful, um, unless, they unless you know you, you're friends with one. Well, beautiful people tend to be assholes, Ryan. And I'm sure it's the same with animals. Horses know how beautiful they are, and therefore they're assholes. Oh. You know. That's kind of how that works. P.U., man. You know what I'm saying? Horses are stinky. They do smell really bad. You you kind of know when you're in like I half a mile of a horse. horses right now. Because it, well, they, they've been bringing horses in the office and stabling them. And that's really <clears> weird because yeah. it's just no room for them. And it smells like shit. Well, I mean, like they're, it's like now since they got horses, they had to clear out the bong like room where Aaron kept all of his bongs. And now it's probably better that way because he's not smoking so much weed. But I don't know. Like the bong smell I got used to the horses. I don't think I'm going to be able to get used to because that's a bad smell. I could we could like smoke up in the horse stables every now and then. So it smells more like the bong room again and less like the it would just be a mixture of, of, of gross get, weed and, okay, yeah. and horse shit. I get that like 100 percent. But I'll, I'm just trying to help out. I mean, if you're not going to come up with any solution, then at least I'm going to try to help out. But if you're just going to deny everything that I tried to help out with, I'm not trying to like, attack you. I was just there's saying, nothing that we can do. I'm not. I mean, no, no, then no. you're just complaining to complain. If you're, I mean, no, are you I was. Oh, I was to about. To... Ooh, that is smooth. Ooh, you know what? I need to start listening rasp. more of this. I like. I like listening to this music, dude. So like old jazz is fantastic. Yeah, like that old school. I heard Miles Davis was a real. Uh, was a real asshole though. More like Miles Gavis. <laughs> <laughs> you really got me with that one. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me. Like dirt and just threw it against a wall and it just softly hit. You're really, you're really, you're really letting them out on this podcast. Should I, should I leave the room for a bit? Matt, I have had so many donuts. That's true. How do you feel like when you wake up in the morning? Do you just awful. feel like I feel awful? It, like that's the thing. Should I should I leave the I'll area? Take a break real quick. I actually Funny. have to use Why? the restroom. Just, just calm down. Just relax. No, it smells awful. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I have to. Well, that was fucking embarrassing. Well, let's 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 let's, let's recap. Let's so recap. we're leaving the room, yelling about the mess Ryan had just left within the uh, proximity. And the moment we open the door, there's a, a talented team of guest animators touring the office right outside the door. So they heard us yelling about Ryan's flatulence. Yeah. And then Ryan went to go uh, empty himself. And immediately after Ryan had left the room. And it smelled horrible. It was awful. Like a, like a cloud, they all came in for the <laughs> tour and shut the door behind them. And I was like, oh, f- for fuck's sake. Did they comment about it? No, but as soon as you went in the bathroom, they all just came in the room for a couple minutes. And I was like, "Uh uh-oh. Here's maybe, I don't, like, I don't know what they said, but go through the audio. Maybe they commented on it. Dude, maybe they did, dude. But put a clip of them all Dude, that's going to make me feel bad. That's going to make me feel bad. If there was a good clip, If there's a good clip, I'll put it in here. This is the Grump Room. A legendary space that smells like farts all the time. I love all the art on the wall. Is oh, it all cool. like other people and stuff? Uh, just, just sure. Stuff? <laughs> Man, somebody fucking ripped one in here. I'm sorry. Anyway, I bet you Aaron probably should have said something to break the ice. Like, unless oh, he man. farted too and was embarrassed and didn't want to. He like... was like, "Sweet, it's it's covered for me." <laughs> that was God owns the Bible, I guess, right? Like, who yeah. who owns the rights to the Bible? 
Does anyone own the rights to the Bible? I don't think so. I think it's like Robin Hood, where like it's just in the public domain. Robin Hood's in the public domain. That's why. That's why studios keep making movies about it. Really? Yeah. How? Do, who fucked up there to get that in the public domain? I don't know. It's an old fucking story. Just like probably Beowulf is in the public domain, for all I know. Shit, dude. Yeah. I mean, like, how do you I have don't a copy? How is. do you have a copyright on something that's like thousands of years old? You mm. know. You buy it. I guess so. You need to snatch it up. <laughs> I mean, people people own land that's been here for. I love that. It's like land has been here for billions of years or whatever. Oh, this is mine. Sorry, millions and millions of years. Six thousand years to be exact. <laughs> yeah, sorry. And some guys just like, eh, it's mine now. And now you gotta pay for it. <laughs> it's like what? Like I that get is it. kind of goofy. No, to it's, think it's about. like I get it. Like the thing is, we're not. This isn't like an anti. Oh. Oh, don't buy land. It's oh, evil rich people. Blah, blah, blah. I, I just think it's a weird way to think of it. It absolutely is. Like, like same, no, it's same with like, you. like selling <laughs> like, water, you know? Yeah. Like, no one owns water, but they still sell it. And you, like, you, like, You're like water's not free, right? Thanks. It's like, wow. <laughs> what next? In California, they're going to make us start paying for air? <laughs> man, I hate bleeding, man. You cut yourself and it's just like, ah, eh, here we go. Here we go again. Talking about the rain and mulling over things and don't look past mm -hmm. a day. Mm -hmm. Will we reach around the truth? Mm -hmm. Time was not his friend. This might be my last chance to tell him that you love him. This might be my last chance to tell him that you love him. I don't know that song, but I was trying to sing along. Do you know it, though? Mm -mm. What? It's about a guy who needs to tell this dude that's an atheist that God loves him before he dies of cancer or I don't shit. know that one. Yeah. Shit, I gotta catch up on my Christian songs. <laughs> Come man. on, Matt. I mean, I got the lyrics wrong, but the, 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 the general themes are there. The themes are there. You know what song always makes my mom cry? Every time it comes on the radio, she's just Hood rat, hood rat, hoop My mom's just like... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's... uh. Every Christmas, taking it back to Christmas, the one about the kid that wants to buy the shoes for his stupid mom. <laughs> yeah. My, like, I want to buy these shoes for my stupid mom. I, I don't know what it is about my body, dude. I just like, even if I get like 10 hours of sleep, I can't get out of bed. It's hard. I don't know like, if it's habits or if it's like just how I am. My sister and mom are the same way, though. So I don't know if it's like a genetic thing. You want to hear what my tactic is as what? of late? I'm not going to say on the podcast. Now people are just going to... Guess what you think I do to wake up or help me wake up? Do you masturbate? People are going to think it's masturbate, but it's not. What is it? What I do is... That sounds so awful. <laughs> and then I'm awake. <laughs> Anyways, so that's what I do. I now. mean, it forces you to get up. Yeah, it does force me to get up. Um, Basically, what I, I... You know what? I'll say it. I, I set up some like kind of Saw-inspired trap, and it breaks Lego's legs if I don't get up by a certain time. Really fucked up that but you would do it that. It works for me. If it works, it works, you know? I'm not one to argue with a good thing. You know, one Yelp's good, two Yelp's is no good. You hear, you hear the first yelp, and you're like, ah, five more minutes. And then you hear two, <laughs> yeah. it's like, uh-oh. Um, no, you, you know what? You know what's a good way to define what's what's too late? When my mom starts texting me, because she's already awake on the East Coast. Then I'm like, okay, I should probably go to bed now. Oh, really? Yeah. My mom, like, just wakes up in the middle of the night and will be like, hope you're doing well. I'm like, really? What are you doing? She's having dreams about you, man. <laughs> Dude, I had one of the worst fucking... Wet most... dreams of your life. <laughs> I wish it was a wet dream. It would have been better. Did I tell you this? I had a dream where I was... What was I doing? Okay, I went to go, like, somewhere to eat or some shit like that. And I parked my car in the parking lot, and I go into the restaurant. And I go into the restroom to, like, wash my hands and shit and pee. And then I look down, and there's this, like, sore on the head of my dick. And <laughs> then, it's, then it starts to get bigger and bigger and starts to dissolve the head of my dick. And it's because I saw there's this news where in England or something. I saw that this yesterday. This new STD where yeah. it <laughs> it's a penis-dissolving STD, essentially. It dissolves penises! <laughs> Brand yeah. new! I, I was in KFC last night, and I saw on the TV on the news, the little, like, ticker on the news was like, like, huge outbreak of STD in, in the UK, like 2.6 million cases. And I'm yeah. like, woo! And so I'm Wrap just, it up. so like in the dream, I'm like, ah, cause in, you know, when you're in a dream, that's your reality. You're like, yeah, yeah. so that's what it is. That's terrifying. My man. penis is dissolving before my eyes. That is like a terrifying reality, man. So I run out into the parking lot and my car's towed. Really? Yeah. To make matters even worse. You, words cannot describe when I woke up, how happy I was. Oh, it's the best feeling when you wake I, up from like a, a bad dream and you realize you're safe in your bed and you're like, oh, it's not real. I'm like my, my, my car's in the lot. And uh, 
my uh, my my penis was intact, l- looking f- uh, as fine as ever, as fine as, as ever. fine as Ryan's penis could ever look. Which is it's it's okay. It's, an, it's admirable. It's okay. Yeah, it's, it's admirable. It's, well, not admirable. It's more admirable. Yeah, admirable. Exactly. Is probably the better word. That's never fun. Do you have any like nightmares from childhood that you still remember because they were so scary? There's two, right? The one with the witch boiling my dad in a cauldron. <laughs> and then there's one where I was just, I, it was, it was a very simple dream. It was just me being chased by a polar bear in the Arctic. That's terrifying. Yeah. That's so scary. Uh, mine was, um, my big scary one was I was falling down a hole. I think I was like five and I was falling down like a hole like a very narrow hole, just like falling to this like bottomless pit. And then out of the sides, like the walls of the hole, there were just like arms like jetting out and like punching me and slapping me as I was falling and grabbing Jesus me and ripping Christ. my hair out. And then I hit the bottom and I'm in this like small chamber at the bottom of this like... It sounds like a Dante thing. It was terrifying. I'm in this chamber and this like... I might have talked about this before, I don't remember, but it's like this like mass started floating in front of me. And it was like a... Like some like horror, body horror like creature with like a bunch of eyes and like fly wings and like things hanging down it was just floating in front of me and it was terrifying and then like it's like if you poured out a can of like Campbell's soup and it was like floating in zero gravity but scarier and that's terrifying right um and then I woke up and I, I had a fever it's a fever dream but when I woke up it was still in my room in real life I was like hallucinating it or some shit and I screamed at the top of my lungs it was terrifying I still remember it my mom had to come in and cradle me let me suck upon her, her breast for a little nourishment to make me feel better. How old were you? Fourteen. <laughs> but can we put this on our and on our on our set that we haven't announced yet that we're working on that yeah. maybe people will see soon? i we're gonna finish it up really it's soon. It's gonna be real soon. You know, Tucker's just been holding us back. Tucker keeps breaking all the furniture on the set and shit. He has, has a bad day and he smashes everything, he rips all the lights down. Real frustrating. He gets angry with us pretty often. Yeah, and, and last time was the big straw when he shit on the couch on the set. Yeah. And he rubbed it around. That was a and then he tried to blame it on Susie, but I know that wasn't Susie's shit, because we have a whole... Because de- she doesn't smear it. She just throws it all over the walls. If <laughs> 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 only people... Knew we weren't joking. <laughs> God, she's got to stop doing that, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I come in the recording room to record a podcast, and we got to call a cleaning crew in. It's shit everywhere. It's like uh, kitty cat gaming again, eh? More like uh, shitty scat gaming, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she keeps throwing her shit around. Dude, a fucking sp- a spork full of narwhals makes the bacon go down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 oh, that is A plus comedy gold. That was fucking A plus, dude. Would you, would you get that off Know Your Meme? <laughs> fucking go to the Know Your Meme page for the bacon narwhals at midnight. <laughs> submit your submit your best your bacon best narwhals. meme submissions. So stupid. That was like I didn't the know pinnacle. That was a fucking thing. That's the pinnacle of internet comedy, me. dude. It makes sense though. Like I go back to that time, like that time period, like mentally, and I'm like, yeah, that makes sense that that would be a a, a thing. Let me bacon I, narwhals and oh, the internet was so fucking just. Thanks for bearing with us. Uh, we'll see how it goes soon. Don't you mean carrots? <laughs> I can't. I I played Fortnite all of maybe four hours because we were gonna make a video making fun of it, so I was like, okay, I need to know a little bit about it. And I've watched videos, and I know the ge- get the general gist of it, but um, I was really bad at the game. Also, I was playing on console, so that was also a bad a bad idea. Never once played it. I, I don't know how I still haven't played it, but I feel like at this point, we should save it for a video. Yeah, I'm gonna get Baby's First Fortnite. Yeah, Baby's First mm-hmm. Fortnite. I'll, I'll, we'll do that as a video. I can wear a diaper and a baby bonnet, have some yeah, face cam. You're joking. I'm, you, you've said it. I'm gonna commit to that idea. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna buy a bonnet and a diaper, and you're gonna wear it. <laughs> as long as you buy the diaper and the bonnet. <laughs> you shouldn't I'll have do said it. anything. Now it's reality, and I have okay, to make well, it, I have to make sure that reality happens. All right, guys. Well, I guess that video is coming soon. <laughs> so uh, keep 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 your eyes out for that one. Oh yeah, but you don't have to play Fortnite to know the dances. No, I, I I guess I could I guess after many months of trying I can now do the floss. 
mm. which is a very complicated dance move. Could we see it? I know the uh, viewers can't well, see the it. Viewers can't to, see well, it. To make so. you feel better, I mean, would it would it make you feel better if like Matt did one of the Fortnite dances in front? He's got one down packed. I got two. Do you have the down. one where you like? Wait, you got two go of them down? down. I wish I, I wish that's the one that I w- wish I could do most. In right. fact, I actually tried learning it and I almost broke my ankles. <laughs> it's, it's like really painful. What's on the one? What's that one called? The, the, oh, the, is that the Shiggy? The the block? It, no, 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 I don't, no. It's the one that's like. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. This is America. Yeah, there you go. It's that one, right? Yeah. <laughs> was that was, was that in This Is America? I forget. Yeah, you got you got. Nice. The... <laughs> there you go. Doing the floss. See, yeah, you floss. got it. He's got the floss. He Damn. did it. Okay. Good job. And you said you could do the floss. Is that the one you said you could right? Do? Yeah. Okay. I mean, do you want to? Do you need proof? I mean, I. I feel like I'm a, all I right. mean, I would like proof. Yeah, I like okay, proof. Sure. I mean, I don't want to put you on the spot, no, but. So. Okay. okay. Let's see. Oh, oh, he's doing it, ladies and Damn gentlemen. It. He's doing it. Hell yeah! I don't, I don't oh, have shit. any sort of coordination I'm so to glad even this, begin this is that. This not a filmed podcast. <laughs> well, we'll see. We just wanted the proof for ourselves. Mm-hmm. We want to be the only two people in this moment that could have seen that. I feel like I just got peer pressured hardcore. <laughs> I mean, it's what happens, man. I'm extremely susceptible to, to peer pressure. You want crack? Um, like uh, inject or smoke? Smoke. Uh, I mean, pass. You can give them hard pass. You okay. Give them options. Inject. I mean, yeah, no I only the inject smoke, just but... straight into my anus. But yes, injection. You said no okay. to smoke. That's yes, a good way to do it. Yeah, that is like the best way to do it. it. Hurts, but it's yeah. Kids, if you're out there, <laughs> that's the best <laughs> way to do crack. <laughs> you just keep okay. Just like, actually, we need it? to we need to find out how he says it. How Neil deGrasse Tyson says, he, says yeah. it? Is there a video of him? Can we call him up? Does anyone have a line of contact? Wait, like, you guys don't have his phone number? I mean, I lost it. I, I dropped my phone in the ocean. Uh, hold on, hold on. I think I got his true number. True story. I think I got his number. Hold on, hold on. Um, I really did drop my phone in the ocean and lose all my contacts. It was very ooh. tragic. Yeah, it's uh, I had an ex that did the same thing. She's on okay. A boat. Okay, okay like, I got what his do you number. Do with your phone out on a boat. I'm about to call him. Silly. Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> it's Labor Day, so he shouldn't be doing much. He right. might just be chilling in his mansion, looking yeah. through a telescope. Hey, uh, Neil, I was wondering if uh, if you could tell me if it's if you pronounce you know the word G I F is GIF or JIF. How do you pronounce it, Neil? You're talking to me. Yeah. JIF, right? Oh, okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. It was it was lovely talking to you. I gotta go. We're recording the podcast, Neil. Okay. Okay. Love you, love you too. Bye. Bye. Whoa, you and Neil are on a I love you basis. He's a very nice man. Wow. That's all I'm saying. His voice sounded a little messed up. <laughs> he was probably he all right? talking about space all day. <laughs> <laughs> so like a like week DJ ago, Khaled I had a, should be treated. Yeah, I had a mustache. I got, do you want to see a picture of the mustache? Yeah, I love it's the to first see time that. I've ever grown a mustache in my life. Oh, it took no. three weeks to get there, and then oh, I had to no. dye it because it was blonde. Oh, no. so uh, yeah, that looks like Megan's wall right there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, you I think your friends were doing you a, a solid. Oh, <laughs> I, I, oh, <laughs> oh, oh my god! I can never grow it back. Now. That's that's the final verdict. <laughs> I, uh, you had a, you dyed it? I did, yeah. Oh my god! Because it was blonde, like the hair was there. It was just blonde. Hey man, you know, sometimes some some sometimes we're just not meant to be certain things we want to be. You <laughs> but know? that's the thing. I I understood that. I just wanted to. I had to at least try it. You no, know? you definitely you, get, you definitely gave it your all. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely glad that you that you dyed it though, because the flesh the flesh uh, the flesh beard it's no flesh good. mustache. Very strange. It's like the uh, fucking Spencer Pratt type. I don't yeah. want like a Spencer Pratt beard. Exactly. Or That's I, why I, I want to get when like I think a, a flesh beard. I think yeah. it's Spencer Pratt. See, Ryan and I also, you know, we started doing YouTube back in like 2007. Oh. So like way back. Yeah. But I was doing uh, videos for my youth group, uh, reminding <laughs> my my peers to to read their their Bible notes and to to show up for worship. Yeah. Did you ever do it in like a rap? I did actually. Ooh. That's not on you. Well, it is on YouTube. It's privated though. Maybe I'll release these one day. <laughs> you and I you have should. done so much media for our church. I, I did like a music video for my church. I also was in an interpretive dance where I played Jesus. That's what? right. The Jesus dance. I was an acolyte. I was up there. Wait, you showed me I that video, the right? There's a video of you with the doing the Jesus dance. I don't think there's a video out there. I my swear my you uncle may have like the only copy, and I may have to like ask him for it back. Unless he's busy with it, then I understand. <laughs> Ryan, I I can't give it up. It's so precious. I know. 
<laughs> yeah, and like you, you put the VHS in, and it's like been watched so many times that it's just ruined. Because you know how like if you if you play a VHS too many times, it just like ruins it. Right. I did that to my copy of a uh, Rugrats, the Rugrats movie, like the orange oh. VHS. Because watch, was it only just to watch the Baja Men who let the dogs out at mm. the end? It was actually uh, did that, before <laughs> the movie. Before the movie in the tr- in the previews, there was a a commercial for Peanuts Home Videos, and this guy. The commercial opens with the Charlie Brown theme song, and the yeah. guy looks at the camera and goes, "You want to talk about Peanuts videos?" But I swear to God, he says penis videos. Well, they changed they changed <laughs> yeah. the commercial, and I, I, that wasn't just me seeing it. He it was so clearly penis videos. They went back, <laughs> refilmed his part, and put it in future copies of the oh. movie. <laughs> they should have just like they should have just ADR'd it. So like later on, he's like. He's like, you want to learn about peanuts videos? <laughs> and you can also see, like, like you can see the look on his face. Like, he knows what he's doing. Like, wow. he's got a little... Let me, let me see. Let me so see. that was some, like, old school Disney stuff then. Yeah. Like, let me with see how it. they would always hide penises in all their movies. Oh, and, like, the, the Little Mermaid cover and stuff? Yeah. Oh, well, I and, searched, the, and the priest gets a boner. Right? I searched penis videos, that's, and I just that's got... That's the best recording I could find. Wait, play it again? Do you want to talk about penis videos? <laughs> there it is. He said penis videos right there. There's a, <laughs> there is, there is this, um, I think it's like a Southern California, uh, uh, car dealership. Uh, and in the ad, they said, go see Cal. Cause his name is Cal Worthington. And their song was go see Cal, go see Cal, go see Cal. But on TV, it sounded like he said, pussy cow. <laughs> <laughs> Should I pull that up? Yes. Yes, please. Pussy cow, pussy cow. I was trying to find the video, so I searched, uh, just searched penis videos on YouTube, and that does not come up with what I was looking for. It's oh, just, it's slow motion videos of, of, there's a video called How Erections Work, and it was just a video. Well, how do they? I don't have Wi-Fi in here. I'm so. not sure how erections work. So could you, you, you could look it up, right? After the podcast. But what I need to look up is, a uh, Pussy Cow? Yeah, Pussy Cow. Or you could type, you could probably do. Found it. What are they trying to say again? Go, go see cow. cow. Go see cow. Go see cow. Go see cow. Pussy. Cow. It just. It sounds like pussy cow. <laughs> they were saying pussy cow. Yeah. You know. You can't just. You can't just. You know. Pay people in pizza. So. <laughs> uh, Try. I mean, well, actually, that's how you we definitely were gonna, could. You were oh, talking earlier about me. the cut of the. Oh ad no! Read. Cash only. Not pizza? No, cash. Yes. Gift card. One hundred dollar bills. Oh, yeah, I was gonna Buffalo say. Wild Wings. Crispy, crispy crust. crust gift card. Crispy okay, crust. I'll, okay, I will settle for crispy crust. Okay, Set ten bucks. Let's make it like twelve. We don't because have twelve thousand. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we, um, no, I mean, well, it's fine. We'll talk about it after the podcast. Oh God. Which uh, I knew this was a mistake. We can actually. <sighs> Wait, you're not, you're not charging by the minute, right? <sighs> of course. So he's counting those seconds. I see. Okay, well maybe we should wrap it up here then. I mean, I mean we can keep going. We no, it's fine, man. Still it's been it's been ticking. a long podcast. I didn't realize the pro- I actually overlooked the message where he does by the minute. Yeah, okay, you should well, read that contract. Uh, well, uh, better. That's what we got to stop for. signing shit that yeah. we don't read. Fuck. That's like the fifth time. Fuck. We're stuck with these ad reads, though. I think that Harris wanted to clear something up at the very start of this episode. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Matt has a stolen stolen ass valor right now. I didn't intentionally do it. I posted a picture on my Instagram story of Harrison walking down by a river, and I never claimed it to be me. It was just a picture but of my friend. But he never not claimed. <laughs> right, well, okay, I didn't want wait, to... Wait, was, do you want me to tag you in Is this, like, every... on an Instagram no, 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 story no, 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 or yeah. something? Okay, on my, on my personal Instagram. There? No, it's gone oh, now. I can't, I can't see the proof. But I basically, can't. Harrison is known... Far and wide, for he has a very voluptuous ass. It, you know, you're a six-two tall, skinny white guy, but you have, you have a impeccable ass. It really is, and and it's on my resume. It's it <laughs> it should be because everyone in our friend group, everyone everyone that knows him, you know, they know him for the ass. It's a big ass. Stand up real quick, show us the cake. Yes, yeah, the cake. Stand up. <laughs> let's see it. Like it's a it's. Do you a, work that out at all, or is it just all natural? It's just natural. It's He's natural. just. The G, those those pants are even kind of like constricting it when it's when it's when it's free <laughs> it's a nice ass but I posted on my story and I didn't even realize that you can like very clearly see the uh, the cake there that's presented and I got an extraordinary amount of DMs of people thinking it was me 
asking me when my ass got so thick. Thick and Watson. I, just like nothing, thick Watson. Yeah, like thick Watson. Matt Thickson. Uh, <laughs> let me get a taste of that cake. Just so much about the ass. And the few people that realized it wasn't me were saying like, who like like how does your friend have such a nice ass? Like when, when you're living on a couch in L.A. looking for a job, you need every bit of validation you can get. So I had to get my respects. Well, you got him in, man, and I, and I hope that's been. I know the job the job hunt's been a little rough, but I hope that maybe the 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 validation from teenagers on Instagram uh, commenting on your ass. I hope that that could at least boost your week a little bit. W- weren't there commercials for B movie where it was Jerry Seinfeld like? IRL in a bee costume, or did I? There was that? something. With, there was something, something weird. Where he wore a bee costume. He's like, you gotta see my new movie. I got a fat. Oh wait, where is I do it? Remember, yeah, like, yeah, it's right. It's it's the one with Steven Spielberg. He goes, yeah. Oh yeah. This is this is a nightmare. It's wonderful. Then Steven Spielberg walks up and is like, Jerry, Jerry. This is he's a. And then he goes on that. <laughs> the Michael, Michael Richards walks in and says says the line. This is definitely his like, famous line. <laughs> that was like his midlife crisis was making B movies. Like, <laughs> Jerry. Yes. Yeah, like, <laughs> that was definitely a midlife crisis for Jerry Seinfeld was making B movies. Like uh, like honestly, he probably thought in his heart that he was going to connect with the kids. Well, because like, it's DreamWorks and they did Shrek. Yeah. And Shark Tale. <laughs> so got that movie even American <laughs> classics. <laughs> What if, what if, like, the Avengers fight the Sons of the Confederacy, they defeat them, and then the sequel is where they bring the all-female cast of Daughters of the Confederacy. And, it's and like, the Ghostbusters. Yeah, it's Melissa McCarthy. She's the leader. <laughs> I'm Sons just imagining Robert Lee, E. Lee with the, with the gauntlet. <laughs> <laughs> Snaps his fingers. <laughs> and, like, the union's gone. <laughs> Good. Honestly, That's okay. Good. Also, so I don't know if you've talked about this on the podcast, but how we have a hobby now of just watching Family Guy. Oh, no, I talked remi- about it. Okay, yeah. it just reminds me of that one episode when like it was Robert E. Lee and Lucy has Grant, yeah. and Robert E.'s like, "Fine, we'll give up slavery, but you still can't make us read." <laughs> <laughs> and um, let's talk about Family Guy. Let's we're we're on season three right now. Oh boy, we've been watching it almost every day. It started out as a joke. This like, is y'all three. Yeah, I have no yeah. part in this. We can't. We we tried to get we, you to watch. Try to get Ryan to watch Family Guy with us. You left the apart. I've had my stages of binging Family. I'm done. I, I can't. I'm well, we're he's not, out of that life. Friendship. We're not binging. We're it's like you know when you go and taste wine, you're enjoying wine. Yeah, we're yeah. not binging wine at a wine. Yeah, we're not tasting. alcoholics. Yeah, but we're when you go wine tasting, you don't go like every day of the week. You can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can, but I wouldn't. We're sommeliers, but for Family Guy. <laughs> yeah. He. Yeah. Exactly. Like we've been. We're almost on season four, and I'm excited to see the changes because after season three if is when Fox know. canceled Family Guy for several years, and they brought it back season four, and it's still going. But I'm excited <laughs> to see the the, the changes. Yeah. Um, but the the thing is, uh, you know, Ryan was over at my place, and we had we had watched Better Call Saul because we watch that every week when it airs. And um, I don't. We we tried to get Ryan to stay and watch some Family Guy. He wouldn't do it. Uh, I was a little hurt by that, but I don't want to get into that on the podcast. I will watch the one episode that I do like. Which it's, one's that? There's one where they go back in the time one, to the pilot episode. The one when Peter becomes a millennial. Whatever season that is, whatever season that is, you update me, I'll be there. We're not. Th- we're not. A, we're not there yet. Do you know That's, what season it is? It's. I think it's, it's nine. I was looking through this. Recently. Well, you, you guys got a while to go. We so do. season nine, I'll be happy to uh, be a guest in in your humble abode to watch Family Guy with you. Specifically that one episode. So Matt, for the first part of this ad read... You know who doesn't use child slaves? Excuse me. Loot Crate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they don't, as far as I know. We're going to open up our own Loot Crates, and we're going we're gonna to guffaw at whatever they, they've sent us. We're opening a live... I've actually never opened a Loot Crate Neither in my life. Neither have I. I mean, it's, is... it's a shoebox now, right? And yes. Was it always a shoebox? <gasps> Whoa! Okay. All right, I opened it up. Rick and Morty! Rick and Morty! Look at this. I got, I got, I got a Rick and Morty, Morty Monster Mayhem. Morty, Morty, Morty Monster Mayhem! Which one's yours? Mine's this one? Oh, that's dope. Oh, I got a little notebook that's got... Okay, uh, I actually like this. It's Courage the Cowardly Dog. What? Let me pin. see. Oh, shit. There's a Courage the Cowardly... Okay, that's actually... That's He's, really cool. Do we just get the same stuff? I think we did. That's awesome. Check it out. We got... Oh, I got a shirt, too. <laughs> what shirt is this? This is, uh... Hold on. It's got baseball bats on it. Oh, yeah? Well, I got a Batman pop socket. Here you go, Jackson. Wait, what oh shirt is god. this? Oh, my god. I can't believe it. Um, got a Harley Quinn notebook. Book. There oh you go. Oh, my god. We got a, a Batman. Speaking of... You were just talking about Batman, Ryan. Got a Batman pop socket. I gave one to Jackson. Is is my is my shirt the same as, uh... I think so. Uh, I'm what is this? What, that uh, is. What, is the, what is the reference? Wait, what is, does the tag sure. say anything? In tech. What's in a tech? What's that from? Is it like... Let me see. Here we go. It's, uh... Look up I-N-I-T. Office space. 
Is that oh yeah, okay, never mind. It's when they took the baseball bats to all the shit in the parking lot. Oh, oh, that's I what see. The reference is. Okay. Well, well, now I can wear this. Okay, sweet. When a tragedy happens, I don't try to figure out the specifics of like building structure and stuff. Like I just like oh, a plane crashed. Yeah, into but can jet fuel melt steel beams? Yes. Remember that meme? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Is it something we could talk about on the podcast? Oh my god! That's from the actual movie! It's another one of those Shark Tale pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep showing Ryan Shark Tale pictures. <laughs> oh no! Let me see. Why do they do this in the Shark Tale movie? It's a oh. featurette, dude. Man, I, I would love to go to Cuba. That's like a, yeah. a definitely up there on my, my travel list. And the thing is, well, hello. Fuck both of them. What did what did what did, what did do? Matt do? What what did you do, Matt? I don't know. I don't know what he I said did both to Tucker. Of us, but I figure that was just kind of like a brain lapse on his part. <sighs> he probably meant just to, just to say like "fuck you" to me, and yeah, then he saw both of us, and he didn't want to make you feel excluded. Exactly. So he said, "Fuck you" to exactly. both of you. Yeah, that's oh, what that was, that's what I'm thinking. That was nice of him. Yeah. I wonder what what if that was real? Like Tucker's actually just furious <laughs> at us. It's classic, classic Tucker man it's coming in and yelling a. a, a Extremities on the podcast. Obscenities, not extremities. Extremities is your extremities. Yeah, extremities, like your legs and arms, right? Mm -hmm. I got my words confused. It's fine. It's, been, it's been a rough morning, dude. Yeah. I did, I had to drive very far to Culver City and back, and stuck in some traffic. Uh, it was crazy, dude. Is it too inappropriate to say that I feel like a an Iraq veteran going off to war when I leave Lego behind at your house? Yeah, I feel just like when I feel. I feel like I have a kindred spirit with that type of mentality. Like I'm leaving behind my loved ones for the for the big fight. Maybe I mean for the big game grumps fight. I mean I think there's a lot of other things you could compare it to that's not like Iraq veterans. But it's like what? Vietnam veterans then. Well, I mean it doesn't have to Cuz they went off into this war zone of like uncertainty of like you're just going to work to edit Gangrum's videos. Yeah, but like it's it's like a battlefield. You you're you're not walking. You're not walking into a, a field with landmines and people with guns. Okay, I mean each to each their own. And for those wondering, that was that was a bit on my part. I really don't want that misconstrued for me actually. That thinking. Ryan compares himself to <laughs> Iraq War veterans when he leaves his dog in the morning at home to go to work. Like uh, I salute you, Ryan. I don't know. I just figure there's gonna be one person out there that like really thinks I'm this. Uh, like unforgivable piece of shit and I just wanted to make it clear to that one person this let's player just compared himself to Iraq war veterans and uh, I guess while we're on the topic of this kind of stuff I, I went and saw Conan uh, because Ninja just Sex Conan Party Day. just played on Conan and Conan is a known homosexual yes um came out on Ellen he did he did back uh, in 2003 yeah yeah that's one. See, that's one of those bits because like we don't, we don't, we don't play it off like it's a joke. We just say it like it's fully normal, and then everyone's gonna Google like is Conan gay? But then they quick for those who are like, for those who do the do the legwork. I don't know why we're making our audience do legwork. It's, they're supposed but. to like listen to a podcast just to relax, and we're like <laughs> making them be like, what? 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 I gotta go look this up now. Like they're just messing with me. They, it didn't even come off as a joke. What are they? Oh, whatever. I'll just, I'll just, uh, I just won't believe it. I just realized it's not, they're not even bits. We're just gaslighting people. Yeah, <laughs> we're just like effectively gaslighting people. Like when I said the podcast was in at one oh two, like I, I just gaslit a bunch of people into getting sad that the podcast was ending. Which I apologize for if anyone actually got sad about that. It's not ending. Hence why we're at one oh nine right now. Yeah. Um, my mom actually even thought that. My mom was like, really? so you're ending the podcast? And I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, you, you're ending at 102? I was like, no, that was a joke. It just like didn't come off as a joke. And I was like, I got to I gotta really watch my tone with these jokes. I think I remember my mom saying something like that. It's like, oh, so I heard y'all are ending the podcast. Is that is that really happening? I was like, no. See, now it now now it, it hits too close to home. Because now we, our poor mothers have been tricked by our, our bits. They don't know what's real anymore. They don't even know what's real. We've yeah. we've we've fallen too far, haven't we? They used to look after us every day, almost. Well, you every day, me every other week. They. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, wait. Do your do your do your two shoes in a lie, oh, shit. and then okay. we'll get into the UFO stuff. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's hear it. I used to go fishing at four in the morning with a man named Captain Jack. I had a movie theater party. When I was young, where we rented out the whole movie theater and we could just go into each cinema and play video games and watch movies and do whatever we wanted. And in church, I accidentally set a flame to the altar while I was acolyting. 
This one's pretty hard. I know one of the truths is the movie theater thing. Because mm-hmm. I remember you told me that. So mm-hmm. now it's down to these two. See, this Captain Jack fishing shit just seems so, so, <laughs> what the hell? But also, I feel like if you would set the church on fire, you would have told me this. Just the altar. Just like a, the cloth Fuck, on the altar. this is hard, man. Because I feel like you've talked <clears throat> about your, your acolyte days so much that this would have clearly have been a story. I think that's the lie. It is the lie. So you went fishing at 4 a.m. with... When I was young, my dad used to take me out on this boat with this man named Captain Jack. And we used to... <laughs> we, at like 4 a.m. and we used what? to... We used to fish for just catfish and bass and we'd bring them home and my dad would make fish sticks. And well, I did, first of all, it's pronounced bass. And second of all, <laughs> what, Captain Jack? How'd your dad know this Captain Jack guy? Because <laughs> my dad uh, used to manage a, an inn... And so Captain Jack would stay at this inn and he brought his <laughs> boat. And one time he invited my dad to what? go fishing with him. And uh, he brought me along. So, so every now and then I'd like be awoken up when the sky was still like dark, kind of. And I'm like, why am I up? It's still nighttime. But my dad would just, we gotta get ready. Come on, Captain Jack. I expected him. <laughs> we, we, we gotta go fish with Captain Jack. He's actually just like forcing your dad at gunpoint. Like, you're going fish with me today. Bring that boy. <laughs> yeah. Bring that boy here. So we're gonna go catch some fish. Now, uh, Ryan, stick your whole fist in this in this catfisher's mouth. I want to take a picture. <laughs> I like BoJack Horseman. I've never. I've only seen like two episodes. Of I it. have to. Season five just came out. I got to see it because I'm all. I, I've seen everything. So I mean, I, I enjoy it. It's fine. When I mean fine, I mean it's honestly one of the better adult cartoons that have come out. I mean, Rick and Morty's a good quality show. Um. Wait. Is this a grenade? 